Hi everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. After my last video, which if you haven't seen it, it was sort of an online thrift shopping vintage -y sort of thing, I had a lot of requests to keep doing them. That made me really happy because as of late I've really loved online vintage shopping, I've loved online thrifting, I've just kind of loved that whole world. You know, ever since I started doing thrifts with me videos, I've had a lot of requests to check out this one site in particular. I also want to haul a bunch of stuff that I got from Value Village that I've just kind of collected over thrifting. Sometimes I go thrifting and I, I'm not filming a thrift with me, so like I'll be driving through a city and I'll just want to stop at a thrift store and I'll pick something up. So it's sort of things I've accumulated over the last couple months that I haven't really been able to put in a thrift with me video. So I want to start by introducing you guys to Thread Up. I'm sure you have heard of them, but if you have not, Thread Up is the world's largest online thrift store. So you can get like a ton of like your favorite brands, um, like Free People, Wild Fox for up to like 90% off. Thread Up was actually kind enough to sponsor this video, which is so, so great. And they are offering you guys, my subscribers, 30% off your first order. So you can click the link below and then you can use the code Tasha Leland at checkout. Here is my big box of stuff that I got. So cute, little polka dot packaging. Empty cart syndrome solved. This is so cute. Hashtag secondhand first. Okay, so the first thing I got was this free people sweater. Now this on the site was $24.99, but I did have a discount code. So I actually got it for $20 and it retails for $128. 80% off. Kind of just has this like simple neckline and then big cozy comfy. I just wanted this to like layer over stuff. I love the way it fits. I love everything about this sweater. Uh, it's such a good just staple to have. Okay next up is this dress that I got. This is by the brand Limited Edition. I got this for $13.60 and it retails for $48. I thought that this dress would be so beautiful and so cute if you layered it under like a long sleeve white like turtleneck sweater. It's so beautiful, I'm really happy. Again, I feel like this is another really good staple for my wardrobe. Okay, next up, this cardigan that I got retails for a whopping $179 and I got it for $26. I loved the material of this guy. I just thought that it would go over kind of everything super super nicely it is just such a beautiful texture it's so so me such a good deal next we have this beautiful 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 dress look at this so this is by the brand called moth uh retails for 71 dollars and i got it for 16. kind of like retro-y um, I'm very excited about it. It has such beautiful colors on it. I just thought that this would just be really cute So I picked up that guy something I wanted more of was plaid shirts and I saw this one and I couldn't really pass it up I have a Vans plaid shirt, but I'm not like really the biggest fan of it I recently was just out and about and I saw someone actually wearing this which is so funny and So this is by denim and supply Ralph Lauren. I got this for $12.80 and it retails for $89 the only thing was this is a size what is it, a size medium but it's pretty small but I was just thinking of really wearing it like around my waist anyways so um, I really like this guy this beautiful piece so you guys obviously know I love crochet I love that this kind of has a little bit of uh, color detailing on the crochet I think that's really cool so this is originally by uh, nine West I was able to get this for $12 12 dollars a dollars so good it's so beautiful I'm just really excited to kind of style this uh, you guys know this is totally up my alley the last thing I have to show you is a pair of wild fox sunglasses I was able to get these for $20 and they retail for like $90 but realistically like in Canadian dollars I feel like they retail for like over a hundred dollars so I'm so excited about these look how cute um, I just love the color of these they're so nice these are the classic Fox sunglasses um, you can see they have like the W on the side just such a beautiful color and they kind of reflect this like gold can you see that there you go you can see it um yeah 20 bucks y'all i'm all for partnering with uh companies that are doing something to help the environment are doing something to lessen our impact um, and if i can help promote these brands that are doing something good 
and saving you guys money. All in all, it is a great thing. It's a great thing for everybody involved. Again, we have a discount code, so you can click the link below and then you can use the code Tasha Leland at checkout. What I love about thrifting in general is that like we are able to, you know, buy something that maybe lived its life, you know, for years with somebody else, but then we are able to give it another, you know, five, maybe 10 years living with us. And it's nice that it's online as well, because I know a lot of people don't have like really great thrift stores and consignment stores like near them. So um, definitely check it out. You guys can like search by brand and all that kind of stuff. Okay, next up. <laughs> I have something kind of funny to haul, I guess, sort of. So basically you guys know that I have a store. Uh, it's called Solely Pieces if you want to check it out link in the down bar. I needed something to photograph clothing on. So um, with the whole like, you know, selling vintage clothing, it's hard because I want to give a ton of different variety in clothing, but I've been very set back on doing that because I myself don't fit every single size there is. Um, and I'm not like a size zero, so I can't really wear like a range of sizes. I didn't want to get a mannequin that just looked cheesy and you know just didn't photograph well anyways I ended up finding this guy which I think is so stunning so unique so me um, I found her at an antique shop actually and what's really cool about it is that um, if you go oh god this is gonna be a workout for the day it's like cast iron on the bottom it has um like cast iron little rolly wheels you know as far as mannequins go I feel like this is like the coolest one so I'm gonna start photographing more clothes for soleil pieces because now I have this and it's a bit easier to do um, the same thing, like, you don't want to photograph yourself really in clothes that don't fit you. It's kind of, like, not great to put on the internet photos where you don't look that great. But anyway, so I did pick up this recently. Um, I had thought about her for so long, and I finally decided to get her, and thankfully she was still there. So, uh, okay, well, you can just go over there for a while. I have two skirts that I want to show you. I have not been super into thrifting clothing lately. I think I just felt like I had enough clothing, but now I'm in this weird spot where I feel like I don't have enough clothing. So I think I'm going to start doing more, like getting back into the thrifting, the clothing videos and stuff. I want to do like a little bit of a wardrobe purge. I don't buy as much as I think the, the average person does on YouTube, but I do buy, you know, a decent amount. Some things like just don't work for you. Some things I want to get tailored, but I really kind of just want to go through my closet and figure out exactly the pieces I'm wearing um, and not have like a ton of extra. So I'm going to go through my closet uh, in a video soon and then I'll probably do put a lot of stuff up on Soleil pieces. So keep your eye out there. Good place to follow Soleil pieces is Instagram. So it's just Instagram.com slash Soleil pieces. And anytime I put anything new up, you guys will see it on Instagram. So I got this skirt. It's by Linda Lundstrom. Uh, looks like this. It is such a beautiful texture. Look at that. I love texture. But look at the bottom of this skirt. It's this beautiful like little frilly. I kind of wish these were in pants. I actually saw a brand an ethical brand who just released pants like this and they're like $270 and I just <sighs> I don't know if I can put that much money out there when I have a skirt that's like super similar to the way it looks anyways I love 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 this skirt I think it's so beautiful I don't know if I'm just on this like light skirt kick or what it is but I ended up getting another light skirt I got this one when I was in California I was vintage shopping in Joshua Tree and it's like this uh, tiered it's actually white denim skirt and I think it's absolutely stunning and you guys have seen this on my Instagram as well I don't know I think I was just like on a white skirt kick that's really like all I've been sort of thrifting lately clothing wise I guess um, and then this guy I want to show you too he um, I got him for a while I thought about selling him a couple times and then I just I just can't so uh, this is a beautiful little shelf. Um, I love live edge wood. He has like a chip missing piece, which is really sad, but I feel like you can't even see it when it's like sitting up against a wall or something, so not a big deal. On the bottom it says, Merry Christmas, Heather. Love, Mom and Dad, 2013. So I guess Heather didn't really like this, but I like it. I think I paid $4.99 for it as well, which is a really great deal. I don't think I'll sell it. The last thing I want to haul for you guys are my new bookends that look like this. They're absolutely stunning. They weigh a friggin' ton. It's alabaster, actually. Made in Italy. These are so beautiful, and I love the way they look when they're holding up a book, kind of like this half circle kind of thing. 
Uh, so I recently got these at Value Village. I don't know why someone would get rid of these, but they're so stunning. That's sort of it. Like I said, I haven't been thrifting all that much. I've been on this like purge of just trying to get my spaces, my office, my living room like clean and like a, a fun space to hang out. But with, with a lot of clutter, I find that I get like stressed very easily. So I'm just trying to, you know, put stuff in storage and also just figure out my style. I still feel like my style is changing quite a little bit. Yeah, it's hard when you're trying to clean. It's hard to bring new stuff in. So I've kind of chilled out on thrifting. I feel like I'm in a good spot now. And I do have like a thrift list. So I kind of want to start doing a thrift list video, taking you guys and looking for things that I've actually am looking for. Okay, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we have a closet makeover video coming and I'm also redoing the loft right now so that we're gonna have a loft makeover video coming. That's sort of where my head's been at. I'm very excited for all this content. Hope you are as well. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out today. All the puppies are just sleeping on the floor. Bye!